Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Prayer or salah is the most important pillar of Islam. Allah Almighty will question this on the day of resurrection. Prayer is an obligation for every adult Muslim. But a lot of people make many mistakes during prayer. 10 Common Mistakes in Salah Not moving the lips while reciting Quran and Dhikr Prophet Muhammad وسلم, used to prolong the recitation of the Quran in Dur prayer and moves his lips while reciting. Praying too fast. If rushing when praying violates the pillar of tranquility, the prayer is invalidated and must be repeated. And also, reciting Quran fast in the prayers, we must pause and take breaks while reciting the Quran during Salat. We should not recite the surah so fast that the versa gets intermingled. Looking around during the prayer, the Prophet ﷺ warned that those who look up during prayer must avoid doing so or else Allah may take away their eyesight. It is rather recommended that one keep his eyes fixed at the place of prostration. Not covering the aura. Wearing clothes that do not cover the aura, men and women, you need to make sure to wear clothing that covers the necessary parts of your body. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, instructed the men to cover from the navel to the knee. As for the women, he instructed them to cover their body except for the face and hands. Skin-tight clothing for both men and women is not recommended. Lifting the foot during sujood. If a person lifts his feet off the ground when prostrating, and does not place the tips of his toes on the ground, then his prayer or leadership of the prayer is not valid. Resting only the tip of the head on the ground during sujood. Ensure that your forehead and nose touch the ground with your palms, knees, toes, and forehead all touching the floor during sujood. This helps create a deeper sense of humility and submission before Allah. The Prophet wasallam said, I am commanded to prostrate on seven bones, the forehead and the nose, the two hands, palms, the two knees, and the two feet. Applying the above command necessitates resting the forehead and the nose on the ground during sujood. Stetching the arms on the ground while sujood. Another common mistake is resting our forearms on the ground, despite the clear prophetic prohibition. Do not rest your forearms on the ground like a dog when prostrating. Crossing in front of a praying person. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam warned, Were the one who crosses in front of a praying person to know the consequences of doing so, he would have waited for forty better than to cross in front of him. The worshipper bow his head down while taslim. No basis in Islam for moving the head down. A worshipper not should bow his head down, neither while facing the Qibla at the beginning of taslim, nor when reciting the first taslim to the right, nor when reciting the second taslim to the left, nor in between them. Leaving pillar or obligatory part in Salah There are 14 pillars of prayer, and there are 8 obligatory parts of prayer. If one omits it deliberately or without any excuse, the prayer is not valid. And now show this pillars and obligatory parts in the screen, and if you want more explanation about every part, comment below, and we will make video about difference between them. All perfect praise be to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. I testify that there is none worthy of worship except Allah, and that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his slave and messenger. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video to continue uploading new videos.